interested in um, subjective realities and uh, affecting people's perspective, showing people another perspective, uh, searching for another perspective for myself. And a lot of times that ends up being uh, taking my observations of the, the, the world that we live in, the quotidian everyday world that we live in, and looking at themes and elements of that and dynamics that operate within that and pushing those to the fantastical. My name is Kobe Kennedy and uh, I'm an artist and creator of things. For me, this particular sculpture came up from my personal empathy for Khalif's story, his struggle, his persistence, and his perseverance. It really hit me. The idea that a lot of people had was that Khalif got arrested, he was held in solitary for a few years, he got out and he killed himself. But there's so much more to him, there's so much more to uh, his situation, there's so much more that occurred in his life than that. So with the piece itself, it's an example of one of the smallest uh, solitary confinement cells that you'll find at Rikers. Um, it's a six by eight by 10 cell, steel and plexiglass. The bed, the toilet, all right there in one little space about the size of an oversized closet. You know, this quote that I wanted to include is one of the most important quotes that I've heard him say, one of the most impactful quotes for me of uh, so much of what he said, talking about the way I looked at it, if I got to stay here just to prove that I'm innocent, then so be it. And it, it, it encapsulates for me that resoluteness. It encapsulates for me that the way that he knew what he was going through, he knew what he was in for, and he was willing to face that for his beliefs, for his humanity, for his truth, for all of that. And it's, people forget that, you know, he was, he, was, he was a teenager. And a lot of adults don't have that fortitude to fight something for five years that would take most of us five months to break us. Transparency is a big part of a lot of the st things that I work on, you know, trying to open up and make visible these elements of society that are purposely kept away from the public eye. That I've had the fortune slash misfortune of experiencing in one way, shape, or form in my small way. And I want to bring that truth to uh, the viewing public. Inside on the base, it's lit from below in this uh, highlighted square. And uh, at dusk and at night, it's both literal and um, thematic where the interior of the, the, the cell, the interior of the box is lit brightly and abstractly it encases the brilliant, bright, you know, light of life and um, intellect and, and passion that is uh, encased in these cells. I decided on Plexi because um, it was the best choice to work with. You, you consider weight, you consider thickness, you consider uh, malleability, and um, definitely considering the dynamic between Plexi and raw steel. You know, if I did this thing in stainless steel, it would be seen like an object that came from Christie's. You know, but it's not about that. It's about the uh, industrial system of uh, the American, not just incarceral system, but um, the American system period. You know, this brutal, hard, unfinished, un, you know, surface unfinished, raw, material, thematic uh, idea. And it's not far-fetched. You know, if, if anyone's been in any of these institutional buildings, it's far more dank and far more hopeless than, than this sculpture that, that, is, that is riffing off of that. When I was working on this, I knew that there are going to be a lot of people that don't want to see a prison cell sitting in front of them. You know, they don't want to go back to that. They don't want to think about the, the trauma that's involved in something like this. But I also knew that there's a wide swath of not just America, but a contemporary global society that needs to understand on a visceral level the realities that are going on every day, right now, as we talk, you know? And uh, peeling back that wall is really important and it has to happen. Throughout human history, you know, going back to Roman times, Greek times, uh, uh, these, these mythological, uh, also, you know, people that actually existed, 
these uh, people whose stories were parables for uh, the struggle. You know, their specific stories were parables for a larger struggle, uh, a, a wide reaching human struggle. And that's all right there with Khalif. I mean, in our modern time, it uh, bears a good deal of reverence because it connects into not just his own uh, struggle, but it connects into the struggle of existence that we all deal with. It connects into all of these other uh, contemporary uh, fights that we're, we're trying, trying to fight for the betterment of humanity.